The History of Susano from Naruto Susano is a gigantic humanoid avatar made of the user's chakra which surrounds them and fights on their behalf, that has been handed down throughout all the generations of the Uchiha clan. It is the strongest ability available to those who have awakened them on Gekyo Sharingan in both eyes. Welcome to the Amagi, in today's video we're going over the history of Susano. Before we begin we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest tweets. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Attributes When activated, Susano forms around the user and becomes an extension of their will, acting and attacking on their behalf. By default, Susano is anchored to its user and they to it. In its less developed forms, it will move around with the user. In its more completed forms, the user will be suspended within Susano, being brought with it as it moves around. This connection allows Susano to shield against physical attacks, one that becomes more difficult to penetrate as it is manifested more fully. Although Susano is quite effective as a defense, it is able to distinguish in what it blocks. For example, the user can still perform jutsu well within Susano and the attacks will pass through it without complications. Others can be brought within Susano with the user's permission, and users can likewise choose to leave Susano's protective structure. The latter characteristic can be used against the user. If an opponent can bypass Susano, however slightly and latch onto them, they can be pulled out of Susano. With continued mastery, Susano can have increased defensive capabilities even at its ribcage stage, as seen when A was able to crack a rib of Sasuke Susano, but conversely could not crack Madara's. If it is damaged, Susano does not regenerate, and it can only be repaired either by advancing it to the next developmental stage or by dispersing it and then forming it anew. Also, Susano is only able to defend against physical attacks, so they're still vulnerable to visual or auditory attacks, for example. Additionally, unless the legs of Susano are fully manifested, the user is still vulnerable to attacks from below. Susano draws on the user's chakra in large amounts so long as it's active. Sasuke Uchiha describes the sensation of using Susano as feeling pain in every cell of his body, which only increases over time of usage as well as at higher developmental stages. Being a Mangekyo Sharingan based ability, it also places a strain on the user's eyes the more it's used. However, it is not actually necessary for one's Mangekyo Sharingan to be active while using Susano. In fact, Madara Uchiha is able to use it without any eyes at all. Development as seen with Sasuke's learning how to use it, Susano has several developmental stages. Practice users go through all the stages every time they manifest it, layering more advanced stages over earlier ones or stripping them away as is needed. They can choose to stop at any developmental stage. At its simplest level, users only manifest aspects of Susano's skeletal structure, such as a ribcage for basic defense or an arm for interacting with the surroundings. Once a full skeleton is made, musculature and later skin form until finally a complete humanoid is shaped. In these early stages, typically only the upper half of Susano is materialized, with legs becoming common once it reaches its full humanoid form. However, not all Susano users can accomplish the latter feat. In its next stage, armor forms around the humanoid for further protection, causing it to resemble a Yamabushi. In its final stage, users stabilize the chakra that comprises Susano and create a colossal form known as the Complete Body Susano, the ultimate ability of the Mangekyo Sharingan. In this state, Susano gains a Tengu-like nose, wings for flight, and is clad with robes and ornate armor. This form possesses power comparable to that of a tailed beast, capable of leveling giant mountains and when enhanced by six paths chakra, small planetoids with ease. Users can also channel their own techniques into the complete body Susano, as well as shape it around the Nine Tails to improve its offensive and defensive capabilities. Users are able to mingle the chakra that makes Susano with chakra from other sources. Sasuke uses the chakra from Jugo's Sage Transformation to make a Senjutsu Susano, with markings reminiscent of the Cursed Seal of Heaven spreading across it. He later stores the chakra of the Nine Tailed Beasts within his Susano, drastically improving its strength and causing lightning to emanate from its back. Versions Susano differs between users in terms of color, design, and weaponry. Some features are consistent, however all Susano constructs are deviations of the Japanese Tengu. They also have two sets of arms, one of which can form wings as part of its complete body form, and six fingers on each of its hands. All Susano wield at least one sword. Itachi Uchiha Itachi Uchiha's Susano is yellow in the manga. In the anime, its skeletal and armored forms are red, and its humanoid form is orange. 
In its humanoid form, its face is framed by locks of hair, with an appendage on its chin reminiscent of a pharaoh's false beard. When its armor is formed, Itachi's Susano resembles a long-nosed Tengu, and it wears a pair of Magatama earrings. Itachi's Susano possesses a curved blade that resembles a dagger or tanto. He rarely uses this, preferring his sword of Tatsuka, wielded in its primary right hand and sheathed in a sake jar held in its second right hand. The sword of Tatsuka is an ethereal weapon with an enchanted blade that, in addition to standard cutting, can seal anyone it pierces, trapping them in a genjutsu-like world of drunken dreams for all eternity. In its primary left hand, Itachi Susano wields the Yada Mirror, a shield that can change its nature depending on the attack it receives, thus nullifying it. According to Black Zetsu, the simultaneous use of the Sword of Tatsuka and the Yada Mirror made Itachi essentially invincible. For long-range attacks, Itachi can use Susano to perform Yasaka Magatama. In Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Itachi has an exclusive complete body Susano form that retains the traits of his previous forms, including a retractable version of the Yada Mirror and a broadsword version of the Sword of Tatsuka. Sasuke Uchiha Sasuke Uchiha's Susanoo was initially depicted as a dark shade of blue in the manga, though it's purple in all other media. Because Sasuke's development has often been marked by intense feelings of hatred, his Susanoo is noted to be much darker in composition compared to Itachi's. Whereas Itachi's Susanoo appears relatively normal, Sasuke's possesses demonic horns, a long appendage on its chin, and a malevolent grin. Its armored form initially appears largely the same as Itachi's, save for having jagged teeth around its hood. After Sasuke gains the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, however, its appearance changes, the armor's mouth taking on a beak-like shape and generally becoming ghastly looking. In its complete body form, Sasuke's Susanoo has a helmet that features a long Tengu nose, two spikes over each eye, a slit stretching across its mouth, three gaps on each of its cheeks, and one additional gap on its chin. Because of his Rinnegan, Sasuke can use the wings of his complete body Susanoo to block out the light of the infinite Tsukiyomi. When drawing on the power of the tailed beasts, the armor of the complete body form is reduced somewhat, exposing the humanoid within. Sasuke is able to perform his Chidori through this so-called Indra Susanoo, as well as fire release great fireball technique in the anime. This form is capable of generating a sword instead of having it form alongside the complete body Susanoo, enabling the user to catch opponents off guard. Sasuke's Susanoo has a blade in all its forms, a saber in its developmental forms, an odachi in its humanoid form wielded with its second right hand, and a pair of katana in its complete body form. Its primary weapon though is a bow manifested on the wrist of its left arm. The bow can double as a shield, a function that becomes more visually apparent in its armored form. Arrows are drawn from an orb held by its primary right hand and can be fired very quickly such that only Kabuto Yakushi, while utilizing Sage Mode, has been able to avoid one. The arrow's properties can be augmented, either with black flames in its armored form, or lightning in its complete body state. Madara Uchiha Madara Uchiha's Susanoo is dark blue in color. His Susanoo is made up of two entirely different sides that are conjoined along their spine, both of which have a distinct face. The front face has elongated canine teeth in its lower jaw bracket and two tusks growing from said jaw while the back face has similarly elongated canine teeth in its upper jaw bracket and a single horn protruding from its forehead. In its armored form, the usual Tengu-like armor splits from its forehead down, revealing Susanoo's eyes while obscuring the rest of its face. Curiously, his armored Susanoo appears to always form the tiger hand seal with its front hands, and is the largest of its variation. In its complete body form, its head gains a long Tengu nose and two lines running down from its mouth to its chin area, as well as hair which is tied up at the sides. Madara's Susanoo wields distinct undulating blades that resemble Chris, held in the right hand of each side. He is able to throw the blades as guided projectiles. In the anime, Madara was able to manifest swords in all four of Susanoo's arms. The blades left traces of blue fire-like chakra in the ground after impact and could unleash shockwaves capable of obliterating numerous shinobi in a single strike. In its complete body form, the swords more closely resemble traditional katana, complete with sheaths held in their secondary arms. These swords can cut through mountains across great distances. For long-range attacks, Madara can use Susanoo to perform Yasuka Magatama. Indra Otsotsuki Indra Otsotsuki's Susanoo, named Origin Susanoo, is purple in color. In its complete body form, it has accentuated eye holes, a long Tengu nose, a spike over each eye, a slit across its mouth, and three gaps on each of its cheeks. In the anime, the skeletal form of Indra's Susanoo was also shown. 
Shisui Uchiha. In Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, Shisui Uchiha can use a green Susano, even after Danzo stole his right eye. It has blade-like appendages on its shoulders, the side of its face, and along its forearms. Its right arm wields a drill-like lance that Shisui can coat with fire to create a vortex of flames. It is also able to unleash a barrage of chakra needles. In Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Shisui has an exclusive complete body Susano form, complete with a second pair of wing-shaped arms, tengu-like features, and wielding a large drill-like sword. Kakashi Harake Kakashi Harake's Susano is light blue in color. The Susano he uses has only been seen in a complete body form. It has the characteristic Tengu nose, a forehead protector like plating on its head, two locks of hair falling at either side of its face, a hole in its chin, and a vertical mark extending across its left eye, similar to Kakashi's own signature scar. It wields a katana, but its most notable weaponry are the mangekyo shaped shuriken that can warp away targets on contact. Hagoromo Otsotsuki in the anime, Hagodomo Otsutsuki showed a light blue Susano capable of entering its complete body form and utilizing chakra blades. Two locks of hair fall on each side of the face and a single horn protrudes from its chin, resembling Hagodomo's facial hair. It possesses a sharp Tengu-like nose and a jagged mouth, giving it a demonic appearance. His Susano was much larger than the others, reaching a size comparable to the Tentails. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.